Hello, hello. I am recording for the first time on my iPad, or an iPad. Um, it is mine. Uh, I'm, I've done a couple in the Facebook group, but this is the first one I've done as a proper video, so fingers crossed it's going to work better than my phone. I picked up quite a while ago some old stamp albums, and this one, as you can see, hopefully... Um, is in a pretty bad kind of state and the cover is it's like it's coming apart here and the back is um, so I thought what I would do is just try and recover this now I've kind of got a little plan in my head but I haven't started anything so this could go horribly wrong the first thing that I did was measure roughly the cover and cut a piece of, um, this is 2000 milligram book board. I didn't do a perfect job of cutting that, but that's okay, I'm gonna make, that'll be the back. Um, and I've made it just slightly bigger than the original because the original cover is exactly the same size as the pages of the stamp album. I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. So I measured here, this is a really terrible ruler, um, but it was um, 17, I think, I've cut that too. Yep, 17 centimetres I've cut the board to. And the height, um, the actual cover was about 25 and 3 quarter centimetres and I've cut it at 26 and then I cut a very thin spine at two centimetres. Okay, it, I, the, the measurements are kind of irrelevant. All I've done is just make it very slightly bigger than the original cover. Uh, if you're gonna attempt to do something like this, obviously you're gonna need to measure yours. I've got several of these kind of stamp albums and they're all different sizes. So I've left the stamps in um, because if I could be bothered to take them all out, I would have put them in another album. But I just thought it's going to be um, fairly straightforward to do a very basic cover for this. So what I'm going to do is I've got my, my craft knife and I'm going to cut. Uh, it's a very, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use scissors because we've got a huge gap down here. I think the scissors are going to work just as well. So I'm just going to slide the scissors up there and cut that and then cut this side too. Okay, so that's nice and easy. Our stamps are going to fall out. Now what I'm going to do is just going to trim that a little bit neater to give that a nice a nicer edge and well, like I said because it's not something you can do once see if it works and then do again on film so I'm doing this it's a job that I wanted to do I just thought I'd film it might never go up it might never go up it depends if it goes horribly wrong There we go, so that's tidy, that's tidy. So this is the front, there are loose stamps everywhere. This is the front and that's the back. I mean, in theory, I could just literally put something over this to cover it, but um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a cover now I've, now I've planned it. So I have my, my book boards and I'm, I want to do this quick and I want to do it easy. I'm not concerned about this. It's not a book that's going to be used and read, you know, like constantly. So I'm not worried about this being a, um, a particularly perfect cover. Um, I want, this is the one I want for my front. Now, it's probably not going to work out because you know how these things are. I've got two sheets of, um, it's memorandum paper, I think, from from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to, I'm not going to overthink this. What I'm going to do is glue this, pop it on the paper, and we're just going to see how it goes. We're just going to see how it goes. 
I don't usually cover books with um, this kind of card stock unless it's a cover for a Traveller's Notebook or something like that. Uh, but I, I wanted this to be fairly flat because I've got a shelf with some stamp albums on and this has to go in amongst them. Didn't want it bulky. Probably going to put way more glue on here than I need. I've not, I've not got a clue what the microphone is like on this iPad either, so hopefully it's going to be okay. I'm going to put it down about there. making me look brown it's making me look nice and tanned I'm not this tanned at all <laughs> I'm pretty pasty but this is making me look making me look like we've had some nice weather here it's back to autumn weather unfortunately where I am and now I'm just gonna literally that edge and I'm cutting it flush because I'm not um, this edge is not going to show okay now I'm going to fold it in at the corner and just going to trim it a little bit you can oh it's very odd this camera angle very different to the phone. I'm just going to trim that off. I'm going to do the same with the other corner. And I'm going to trim that off too. Okay. Grab my bone boxer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push in there, push in here, try and get a not going to be perfect but that's okay now that's it that's glued I'm just going to keep pushing this this into place and burnishing that edge down okay give that a few seconds to dry hopefully this is going to give me a fairly neat corner I'm going to do the same on this side so I'm just Kind of trying to force it into that um, the edge and just burnishing down this edge on the on the fold so it's in a good position. Glue that. Just keep pushing that into place. Not worried about stray glue because none of this will be seen eventually. Don't want to get any glue on this corner if possible because that will show. Just do the best you possibly can. Okay, now I'm going to start with this long edge, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it, I'm going to push it against my board and fold it over. That hopefully, will give me a nice. A nice edge. And now I'm going to glue this. I'm a bit shaky because I haven't done a video for a while. Lots going on. Everyone's the same. Lots of people think, you know, they've got lots of time um, because there's nothing to do. And I seem to never have any time. Wish I did. Okay, so 
I'm a little bit gluey. Ooh. Right, I'm going to actually force that over now and push from this side. Hold that into place. Now, because it's a cardstock and it's reasonably thick, it might take a minute or two to hold that into place for that glue to take. You could use this same method to do a cover for a bound binder journal, you know, with the rings. This would this would work quite nicely if you were doing if this was a cover for that too, and you'd probably do that corner, that side too. Okay, so far so neat. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same on one of the edges, just bring that over. Make sure I get a nice fold there. my glue hope everyone is staying safe and well it's still so difficult to kind of comprehend what's going on around the world right now Okay, so that's that, that edge, and the same again. I'm just going to fold it, fold it on itself. Add my glue. I mean, there are lots and lots and lots of ways to get neat corners. I actually don't mind this. Some people do. Um, so there are other ways to do it, but I, I think this is a really nice, secure way of getting a corner just going to push that glue out into my cover like i said this is not a journal this is this is just a stamp album that looked very tatty and any improvement on that's going to be good <laughs> if it was a journal i would probably um, give this a spray of matte acrylic varnish too, something like that. Okay. Oops. So that is my front cover done. It's nice and sturdy and it's, I think it's neat for this job. So that's going to be my front cover. Now, what I was considering is actually gluing the book straight onto this cover, whether or not that's still gonna be my plan. I'm not 100% sure yet, because we'd have to get the spine absolutely perfect in terms of getting that in place. So we will see, but it would be quite good to have that. Plus this isn't actually not, hmm, yeah, may not be, might not be good enough to do that. We'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna do the next, um, the next cover. Okay, that's the front and back covers done. So now I'm just gonna work on the spine. I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to actually pop them underneath my glass board just to put a bit of weight on those. So I have my two centimetre spine, which is much smaller. Just pop that in there. Make sure what way, what way round. That's the back. Okay. So it's perfect for this, um, but I'm going to have fabric at the edges just to kind of make sure I've got enough leeway. I'm not um, I'm not worried about getting crisp edges on this. It just needs to be fairly flush. Um, so that's my spine. Now, this is where it could go horribly wrong because it's not done one yet. I'm gonna turn my board this way for a moment. And what I'm gonna do 
is, um, I'm just going to glue this onto my fabric. And because I'm using a canvas, it's pretty good for not showing the glue, providing there are no really large blobs. So I'm going to just spread that out a little bit and as usual wipe it onto the back of my finger and I'm going to put this down like so. Now rather than using any kind of complicated method, I'm using my ruler. I'm going to butt it up against that spine and I'm going to use, here it is, my rotary cutter. I'm just going to stand up and just so that's going to be the size of my fabric. It's just the size of my ruler. Now here I'm just going to trim off that, that bit there <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same the other side use my ruler as my size guide. Okay. That's pretty good. Got just about enough there, I think. Now, okay. I'm just going to put this on here. make sure what I want to do or try and see if what I wanted to do is going to work. Da, da, da. There are probably proper bookmakers out there that go, what is she doing? What is going on? Okay. Let me grab my covers again. Put these here for a moment. Now I know I'm going to need a little bit of leeway, a little bit of gap. At the moment, I'm more concerned about getting this spine right and trying to decide whether, even though these are very warped, whether I can get them to stick onto here. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's not even, the whole book is actually warped, so don't think my original plan is going to going to work definitely not that's not going to work okay so we're now going to treat this a little bit differently cotton fabric this is um this is curtain lining <laughs> curtain lining i'm going to try with this so i'm just gonna Right, what have I got? I've got, um, it's about 12 and a half, 13 centimetres of this. I'm going to glue this to the spine. I mean, you can see the pages are a little bit loose, some of these. I mean, it probably, if I'd have known I was going to do it this way, probably would have got out my, um, I have some book binding PVA, which is really good for this kind of thing. work out hopefully 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 it'll work out I'm just gonna open this up no I'm not this can always be trimmed once the book 
block is in place so I'm just going to trim off a little bit of that so I don't have quite so much change of plan change of plan I'm going to glue this fabric down completely um, I am going to go for my my first plan now it might not work um, and if it doesn't, you know, no big loss. Um, I just take these stamps out and put them in another book. Simple as that. I've not lost anything from trying. Okay, now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my front cover directly to this. Okay. Um, the spine I will attach later. I'm not too worried about the spine at this point. So I'm now going to completely glue this page this was what I wanted to do so I'm just going to go for it didn't need to add that fabric but you know like I said the most I've lost is a bit of time and I might have to I'm just going to line up the edge with the edge of the spine and try and get that in place as much as I can I'm going to turn it over just put some weight on that for a bit Oops, sorry, forgot to start filming again. Um, I've decided I'm going to put the second cover on and then I'm going to leave it under some heavy weight before I attempt the spine. Um, so I'm just going to very quickly, trying to work fast, which is probably why I forgot to film. Um, I need to make sure I've got plenty on here. This wouldn't be so difficult if it was a book from scratch, obviously, but because it's um, it's so warped and in a pretty bad state, it's not as easy as I hoped. So I'm going to, again, line these up with the edge of that spine and try and make sure the edge of the actual books are also lined up. Right, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go off and pop this under some really heavy weight and I will be back to do the spine shortly. Hello, I'm back. I've been having a think as well about how I can make this work because um, obviously if you were making a cover you would fold the fabric over. Not got that option now. Um, but I got the um, spaghetti sauce into the slow cookers and um, had a think while I was doing that. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm literally going to um, at attach this straight onto here. Okay, I'm not going to glue the spine, but I am going to glue the fabric. So, it's probably bigger than I need, but that's okay. I'm going to just pull out some of these threads before I glue because I might as well go for the tatty look that I like. Okay, and I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna start small, just with a little bead of glue up here. Lots of glue residue stuck to my fingers, even though I've just washed my hands. Um, just run that down there. I'm gonna hold that spine in place and just fold this fabric over and I know my spines are kind of lined up and I'm going to do the same on the back I actually didn't do a bad job of lining up the front and back cover even though I had nothing as a guide so I'm quite happy with that like I said this is just a little personal project it's not something that um, I even considered initially just a filming <laughs> it was just something I wanted to do okay line that up and pull this over I've still got time 
time to pull some of these out here. Okay, so you can see that stock, that stock actually really well. Um, so it's become the covers. Right now, here goes. I'm gonna line a bit of glue up. Now I tend to do a little bit at a time and then just backfill where I need to. Just run that down there. Bit more glue. And then just keep backfilling until I've stuck that fabric down completely. I mean, this is already feeling much more sturdy than it did with the, the old cover on. Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to have little bits of fabric hanging out doesn't bother me quite happy with that okay let's just see how it opens that's okay it's fine absolutely fine okay. I'm gonna just trim I get a nice edge there, you know, when you open the book. It's just that fabric probably should have been cut flush. Should have cut it flush against those pages, but you know, it's for me. So I'm not worried about that one bit. It just looks much, much neater than it did before. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm very happy with that, actually. Um, yeah. So like I said, you know, opens nicely. Perfect. So that's my stamp album. Much, much better than it was before. Just going to show you the old cover. This is what it was like. So it's not perfect, but... It's a lot neater and a lot flatter than it was. So thank you for joining me for my personal craft project. Um, you know, it just gives you some ideas, I suppose, of how easy it is to recover something that's a little bit, a um, little bit tatty and maybe no good for purpose anymore. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I'm quite happy, quite happy with that. Uh, I will be back soon. Um, I have a fantastic product from Patty Pockets, um, who is Patricia Veramontes, um, her, her stain. Um, I haven't had a play with it yet, but I do need to. And I also have to do a video for some Arteza products that I have. Um, quite excited about that because it's something I haven't done for many years. Um, but we all know the pitfalls of when you do something you haven't done for a long time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it can't be any worse than this. Um, I hope to be back soon. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye.